most important thing in mechanical engineering is nuts and bolts. Nobody will agree with me. The most critical parts of a joint are nuts and bolts in static equipment or machinery. Now, there is so much misconception. Engineering colleges and industrial standards have led us to believe that torque values govern perfect bolt clamping work. No, this is not true. Torque values are not the barometer. Take, for example, static equipment, a pressure joint with a gasket. This is not properly done. All the equipments are failing because of that. Today, when we have gone for a clean India drive, it means your diesel has to be sulfur free. How do you do that? We spend millions to make the fuel sulfur free. And then a heat exchanger allows the intermixing of dirty fluid with sulfur to mix up with clean sulfur free fuel due to a leaky gasket joint. Why does it happen? Because the gasket has not been compressed uniformly. Even though all the bolts have been tightened to the same torque. This has been happening to every piece of equipment manufactured by the largest companies throughout the world in this field. Not us. We managed to make the joint 99.9% .9 leak proof. How do we manage this? Creative thinking. Don't go by the top. Measure axial movement of the bolt to see that the movement is the same in all the bolts. Whatever be the torque required, the gasket is compressed uniformly. And so there is no leakage and no intermixing. In your artistic mind, in Maharashtra, there is an artistic mind. What is the artistic mind? What is the artistic mind? It is to capture it. It is to be able to do it. So, sorry, again, many of the subject. What was I talking about? Anybody? Intermixing. Thank you. Because he's paying attention. Now, this whole intermixing has been understood. The gasket has to be compressed uniformly. But when you are applying the same torque to all the bolts, it may just about slightly press the gasket at some places and other places it may even crush the gasket. Why is it so? Because for some bolts, even 80% of the torque value may be lost in countering the friction between the threads. And for others, the friction may be negligible. This is due to the fact, apart from the variance in the roughness of the threads, tolerance plays a significant role. Tolerance in thread diameters of both the bolt and the nut are as per acceptable standards. So when the nut is with lower tolerance and the bolt with a higher one, the screwing in will be very tight. So to say, there will be huge frictional losses. And where the tolerance levels are reversed, the tightening will be very free and smooth, resulting in a higher axial movement where the bolts may crush the gasket due to the excessive load on it. The creative side of your mind can visualize this. We in Tima follow our in-house manufacturing process and standards to give us the required results. And so all our equipment world over are functioning with total efficiency. This shows that we all have talent. All we have to do is to harvest it.